Okay, guys, I know it's been a while since we've been back out at the plant with the Independence holiday and weather. It's kind of kept me on the ground, but we got up this morning to take a look out at the site. This is, again, the Pinova chemical plant in Brunswick, Georgia. They're in the process of demolition of this plant and breaking up everything and moving it out for scrap. So we thought we'd take a flyover. If you guys remember the site, you can see that there's been quite a bit done. Uh, but you can also see the results of the uh, wet weather that we've been having with uh, so much water out on the site. Now, we didn't see anything going on here this morning, but it looks like they've moved over to one of the uh, larger uh, buildings that's on site and it looks like they're starting some work in there so we'll be keeping an eye on this this will be interesting to see uh, this process as it comes down as we scan around golly it is really wet out here and um, like that got me to want to check out the outflow from the property so uh, towards the end of the video, we're going to get over there and take a look at that. But uh, a lot of rain here recently, and uh, from the drone, you can see just how wet uh, the property is. But the crews that have been in here uh, working and doing the demolition, they have really been getting the job done uh, with this metal and getting things broken up and piled up into places where they can uh, they're kind of separating it as you guys know uh, and then moving it on to the uh, recyclers putting it on the trucks and it's being trucked away Another one of the buildings here that is still still up. We thought we'd take a closer look at this one. We see they have they've started some work around it, and maybe some of the outbuildings. But this piece of the building is still still up, along with uh, some tanks, and it looks like uh, some of the plumbing. A lot of the plumbing still in place. But we're hoping to go live very soon and we're going to have, hopefully have a special guest with us who can kind of explain what went on in some of these areas of the plant and get a better, a better understanding about the history of this uh, facility here. You see there's a lot of material that has already been processed and, and the crews that are here are still working on it. Still moving on the process of getting everything picked up, broken up so it can be loaded up.
Man, there's a lot of water out here today. So the property itself has uh, kind of a, uh, a ditch that runs around the perimeter of it. And uh, the water gets, finds its way into, into the ditch and it goes out the outflow. Now, uh, Pinova was in the process of reworking that outflow area. Um, it looks to us like the process or the project has been completed. And we're going to take a look at that here. So you guys, you guys that are familiar that saw a video with the fire, uh, have seen it before. It's changed a little bit. And it's also high tide today, so the uh, the images are going to be a little different from what we saw. You know, we've got about a seven or eight foot tidal swing here in this area. A lot of water moves in and moves out of our estuary. I'm going to fly back over towards uh, one of the other large building, and it looks like they were down uh, maybe loading up some of that rosin material. Now, from what we understand, that rosin is liquefied at, at a high temperature, uh, and when the plant shut down, a lot of this material was still in place where it was being processed, and it almost looks like white boulders. You guys are going to get a look, pretty good look at that. Uh, coming up, uh, they had uh, what appeared to be a mini X, and um, and a skid steer loading up some. Of it. They were in kind of a tight place, but we got we got a little image of that coming up here too. And maybe that that product is still good. You know, I I do not know anything about the process. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some of that information from someone that knows very soon. You can see those guys there now. We're gonna bring the drone over and drop the camera down. Give you guys a little closer look at that. But that looked to us like some of that rosin product here. Now we're going to take a look at the outflow area. And uh, keep in mind this area was the canal uh, that's in place here now. All this has just has recently been completed. And we're looking there at Terry Creek. I think this is the Dupree Creek. And this area right here is uh, where, where the outflow meets the marsh. And so what water doesn't make it back down into the ground eventually finds its way here. Now there's uh, culverts that run underneath, and that's U.S. Highway 17 that runs, runs through Brunswick north to south. So that's where, where the water actually comes out. And then uh, we're going to pan up here and kind of take a look. And you guys can see that 
drainage system that kind of snakes around the perimeter of the plant. Kind of goes, this, this culvert system goes underneath the highway, and then you guys can see uh, that system there. And it kind of circles, circles around the property. A lot of water out there today. Again, we've been having having some pretty pretty strong storms in the area. It's typical for this area, uh, this time of the year. Uh, get these uh, afternoon thunder showers that just kind of sit over the the area and just really download a lot of rain. And as the water comes out of this this canal into the creek and then joins the uh, the waterways here where it will eventually make its way through the estuary and then out into the ocean. 